Heartless.io. So you guys welcome back into GMC Garage and the thing that you are seeing in front of me the covered thing this is the engine that is the concept of the video today so what we are gonna do today is let's first let me show you the engine so viewers, as you can see this is a 2JZ so this is a 2JZ that has been imported from Japan because we live in Pakistan and we don't have any vehicle that comes stock with the 2JZ so the mostly the engines like 2JZ and uh, K20 and these type of engines are imported from Japan because in Pakistan we don't have any vehicle with these kind of stock engines so this engine has been imported from Japan a year ago I bought it from a shop in the market so I bought it a year ago and it was in the same condition so when I bought it I just moved the crank and the crank was moving so I decided that it will be alright then I never opened it up to check the internals so now I decided to open it up and check the condition of the internals because it has been sitting for a year like this so it might have got the moisture inside and the uh, camshaft and those things get damaged with the moisture so I decided to open it up completely and I have just unbolted everything but I, I'm going to show you around everything step by step so now let's begin the video and let's see what is inside this engine so let's first start from the a valve cover and the air intake and everything and then I'll show you all the way up to the bottom of the engine so viewers as I've told you I've opened up all the bolts from the engine so now it's just all open up and I'll just pick up all the parts and show you around so first of all this is the intake planum you can also judge the engine by looking at the inside of the intake planum from either this side or the other side if it has all a lot of carbon build up on it then it's a uh, engine that has been running rich which is not a too much good sign because it has a lot of abrasive it was running rich so if it's clean like this so then it looks like it's an idea now let's remove the covers everything is opened up because I have opened it uh, before showing it to you guys because it takes a lot of time to open the nuts and bolts so I have opened it up before so it won't take a lot of time from you guys so always another tip is this that whenever you open an engine even if you open the uh, camshafts only make sure the timing is right time the engine perfectly to the marks that the engine has made uh, before so you should set the timing one timing mark is right here in the crank and another timing mark is with the camshaft oh sorry uh -huh, yes camshaft so you should make sure the timing is right then just open up the camshafts remove the belt and the, it will be an easier to start it up the next time you fix it up so i have made sure the timing was all right and then i opened up the belt and the camshaft so here is the other coming removed so we get the belt this way now we'll remove the lugs The engine is a little bit dirty because it has been sitting outside and that was the reason that I have opened it up today. So viewers now is the time of judgement. Now first of all let's open up the valve covers. I have unbolted all the nuts so they just come up easily. So here is one valve cover and here it comes the nut out. you can see that everything from the top has been removed and the cams are now naked so viewers this is our cam it they do look a little bit dirty because i have opened it up a day ago and i haven't cleaned it up with anything just to show you guys as they were so other than that you can see the cams are in pretty nice condition so first of all let me remove the cams and then i'll show you the cams and the engine position okay so <laughs> Thank you. 
so viewers now you can see the cams have been removed first of all let's see the condition of the head from the inside and then we look at the cams so as you can see there is a bit of dirt but other than that you can see these I don't know what you call them but they are all, all clean and nice there are no scratch marks or anything like that on them which is a good sign because if they had been scratching then it means that the cam has been rubbing through them other than that there is a bit of carbon and mobile thing build up but this is a normal thing it is like this in the engines that have been working for years so from this condition of the head you can see and all of you can tell that it is in a very nice condition now let's have a look at the cam shops so these are the cam shaft viewers so this is the cam of the distributor side as you can see it is a jay-z cam the jay-z has been written on it the jay-z and then we can tell that the cam is in a nice condition because let's have a look at this so you can tell the condition of a cam by its lobes so as you can see the lobes are all clean and nice they haven't been damaged they have no scratch marks on it or anything like that and all the cam has no rubbing around it and no scratch marks at all either on the intake side or the exhaust side which is a very good sign and we can tell that the engine is in nice condition if its cams are alright because if it had a damage from uh, below the engine it would have also caused damage to the cams and have been overheating or everything like that the cams get damaged as well so now we have got the camshafts and everything out now let's get the head down and see what's below the head and what is the condition of the pistons so viewers now we have opened up the head the head is right there and the block has also been gone naked and the pistons are in front now let me show you the pistons first so viewers here goes our block and our pistons so now as you can tell by the first look that the pistons are in pretty neat and clean condition let me show you around every one of them so this is the first one it is in a nice condition because the engine has been working for a long time it has a, a bit of carbon build up on it but other than that you can see the cylinder is neat and clean it's all smooth it has no scratches or nothing like that the same goes for the piston number two it is also neat and clean and the cylinder wall is also clean there is nothing like any of the scratches or anything like that it's all clean oh it was just a hair so the other two pistons are also in nice condition you can tell from the tail top they haven't been hitting anything or you can also tell them by moving them there is no play in it so the rings are all fine i hope so the only thing that a bit of that's a bit of worrying is the piston number one that is the sixth one so the first one is right behind this piston so this is also in nice condition this is piston number two but the piston number one seems a little bit of more dirty and then the other ones because as you can see there is a bit of more carbon on this piston and the wall is almost smooth but there is a bit of this marking so i hope so it has been hitting something or because it has been sitting for a long long time and i have opened it up so maybe the water could have got through it but this thing needs to be polished other than that the rings are all fine and the piston looks is not that bad condition but the cylinder wall is a little bit like this so i hope so by polishing it it will be all fine because this is not a, a deposit that you can feel by moving the hand over it it feels all smooth but it looks like this so viewers this is the condition of our block other than that all the ports are open which is a nice condition because it has been sitting i haven't been open it up the ports could have been gone closed or that it have been dirty or if the gasket would have been gone wrong the ports would have been blocked or the water could have been gone in the oil ports but it's nothing like that the water ports are all fine the oil ports are all neat and clean and they have oil in it so the block looks very nice the face of the block is also in nice condition it has no cracks and nothing like that because the 2JZ blocks if they are abused a lot they the block gets cracked from the top also and the gaskets get blown so this was in nice condition other than that i've shown you the cams out before they are also in nice condition now let's go up to our head <coughs> so this is the head of the 2JZ viewers as you can this is in all nice condition uh, first of all let's at the first glance what you can tell by looking at a petrol engine is that if it's uh, uh, you can see the uh, walls look rusty it means it is all right because the rusty walls means that it has been running 
uh, at a perfect fuel it has been uh, it hasn't been running rich or lean because it would have been lean it would have uh, mobile oil deposits on them uh, on the valves if it would have been got a blow the mobile oil would have gone to the valves as well but the valves are all they look rusty it means it has been running perfect conditions and another thing by looking at the plugs uh, this one is a little bit dirty because i have wiped it up and as you can see i haven't got the plugs out but from here you can see the plugs are all uh, brown and rusty which means that they have been running at a perfect temperature they haven't got any oil or anything like that that's why they look like this and other than that the uh, head is all neat and clean there are no cracks or anything like that in it the gasket is it was in nice condition so it means uh, it hasn't got a cross gasket or anything like that it hasn't overheated and the valves are all in nice condition there are no gaps or leaking in the valves as you can tell they are all tight and packed so it all makes up that the engine is in a nice condition so other than that viewers the only things that were bad with the engine was the distributor the distributors were broken because we had to transport it from here to there two to three times which uh, broke our distributor and the cover you can see uh, the engine cover that is in front of the timing gears is also broken so those were the only two things that were bad in this engine other than that you can tell that the engine is in a very nice condition and that was all for the engine uh, today I have shown you everything in the engine it does drag up but I didn't uh, crank it up for you because the timing would go wrong so if you want to see how you start this engine how this engine starts and runs so you might subscribe the channel I will soon upload a video about starting this engine and in the next video I'll just pack it up together and hope so in the next week I'll start it up sometime so that was all for today viewers I hope you like the 2JZ and the videos about 2JZ so if you want to see this engine more just subscribe to our channel